Dream isn't the villain of the Dream SMP. The widely popular Dream SMP has had many conflicts in its lore, Dream always being considered the villain of the story. Dream, who has been locked up for his wrongdoings for months for terrorizing and even being called manipulative by the other members. But there is more to meet the eye about Dream. Dream's actions were only meant for good. The SMP was started so Dream could have a Minecraft server with his friends. They collected resources, built buildings. The server was founded on the idea of friends having a good time. Dream liked these peaceful times. Tommy was added to the SMP, and he kicked it off by fueling some conflict. Sapnap and Tommy burn Punk's lemon tree. This was a turning point, if they knew it or not. The true start of the Dream SMP lore. In response, Alyssa and Ponk burn Sapnap's house down. Sapnap, enraged by the burning, turned to Tommy for some help. Sapnap and Tommy sought to kill Alyssa and Ponk. While fighting, Dream had logged onto the server. Dream's peaceful server with his friends was starting to fall apart. The entire server was fighting with each other. Dream took it upon himself to create peace. He did this by taking Tommy's discs. It might have seemed like a strange choice, but it was the one thing that held value on the server at the time. Even though the members were mad at him for having the discs, everyone seemed to be friendly with each other. This is going to be very important later in the video. No longer were they burning each other's houses down or fighting. There was fighting back and forth between Tommy and Dream for the discs, but no longer were his friends fighting with each other. They were all fighting for the same common thing in mind. Dream. It was the price that Dream was willing to pay. The discs were then handed? Taken? Back by Tommy. And there was peace on the server. That's all Dream cared about. Wilbur joined the server and saw potential for something big. He started brewing up potions with Tommy and trying to scam others for materials. Other members had enough and tried putting an end to the scamming. They managed to settle the conflict, but Wilbur didn't like the way he could just be told what to do. Thus, he started Lamanberg. Revolution was brewing on the server, and Dream didn't like it. Wilbur explained that anything in their walls was theirs and would be ruled by them. Dream knew what this meant. As members began to pick sides, the Greater Dream SMP or Lamanberg, Dream saw the server falling apart again. Fighting was on the horizon and he was going to put an end to it. He needed peace for the SMP. A nation governing themselves without the rule of the Greater SMP meant trouble. After the fighting, the Greater Dream SMP blew up Lamanberg. Dream realized something. Lamanberg couldn't just be blown up. They would just rebuild. He needed something that the members of Lamanberg wanted, so he could still step in if conflict arose, but let them have their independence. The discs. The one thing Tommy loved. Tommy and Dream traded the discs for Lamanberg's independence, and the server felt peaceful. The way the SMP was built. The Lamanberg election happened. In stepped a new power into Lamanberg. Schlatt. The people voted on who they wanted to see in power in Lamanberg, and to everyone's surprise, including Dreams, Schlatt had won. Schlatt didn't have good intentions. This will be a lot different tomorrow. Let's start making it happen. My what? first decree as the president of Lamanberg, the emperor of the country, is to revoke the yes, citizenship. Sir. <laughs> and Tommy in it. Tommy and Wilbur were kicked out and formed a new nation called Pogtopia. And who helped Pogtopia? Dream. Dream helped give information to Pogtopia and supply them. Dream wanted peace back, and the newly named country of Manberg had the opposite intentions in mind. Dream did switch to Manberg's side after Schlatt told him about a book. Dream quickly realized how blindsided he was by the item. In the midst of the war, Dream joined back Pactopia to finish the fight with them. When the dust settled from the war, Tubbo was crowned president. Dream knew this wasn't the end. The peace was not about to start. Techno said it the best. Don't you see what's happening here? Don't you see history repeating itself? You think Schlatt was the cause of your problems? No! It was government! There was no peace with the government, so Dream sought to put an end to it alongside Wilbur and Techno, who shared the same ideas of him. And just like that, Lamanberg was gone again. 
While the war was happening, George Not Found was building his house. Little did he know that his house would turn into the next biggest plot points in the Dream SMP. After Manberg's fighting, Tubbo was still president of Lemanberg as they rebuilt. He crowned Tommy the vice president, and the server continued as usual. But it wouldn't be the Dream SMP without something going on. Tommy took Rambu to steal from George's new house. Instead, they ended up griefing and the house mostly burned, breaking one of the only three Dream SMP rules. News caught on to who had done it, the vice president of Lemanberg. George was one of Dream's closest friends, the one who had started the server with him. He had enough with Lemanberg. He had it over and built an obsidian wall around Lemanberg. If they weren't going to respect the simple rules of the SMP, he was going to make them realize he wouldn't tolerate their actions. Lemanberg had caused so many problems in the SMP, and he had tried making peace. They had no respect for him. Now, okay. I didn't really care about this okay. until Tommy went and burned down the vacation Don't home of our king. king. Of no. our king. I want Tommy punished. I want something to happen to Tommy for what he's done. Dream was going to end this once and for all. Who was the main problem? Tommy. Tommy had been the one who started the conflicts and ruined the peace on the server. It only felt right for Dream to make him pay for what he had done. So, by the command of Tommy's best friend, the president of Lemanberg, Tubbo exiled him. Tommy was sent to a place far off from the greater SMP. Dream saw peace return to the server. Even though everyone viewed him as bad for demanding Tommy to be punished, he had created peace. A Christmas tree was built and no violence was incited. As far as Dream knew. Dream knew Tommy wasn't dumb though. He knew that any chance that Tommy had some upper hand on him, he would use it to run away or even fight Dream. Dream needed him to have no upper hand on him. Dream did this by destroying what Tommy collected. Call it cruel, but Dream knew this was for the greater good of the Dream SMP. Oh my God. Despite Dream's best efforts, Tommy had still managed to run away. Dream went searching for him at Techno's house. It was obvious to Dream that Tommy had been there, despite Ghostbird and Techno's best efforts to convince him otherwise. As long as I know where Tommy is, which I do, you know, I know. After all that, Dream didn't care. He had his peace, and if Tommy wanted to be at Techno's house, that was fine with Dream, as long as the SMP remained peaceful. Back in Lemanberg, Tubbo and the citizens of Lemanberg were planning. They wanted to kill Dream. In their eyes, they didn't like how Dream acted. They decided to plan a festival. The only public execution had been at the Lemanberg festivals. They invited everyone to the festivals. Dream saw right through their plan. He knew this wasn't going to be a peaceful festival. He took action. Blown to dust. The oldest building in the Dream SMP was gone. Dream pinned it on Tommy. If they weren't going to keep the peace, he was going to make it any way he could. No one could see what Dream saw. Tommy was the problem. The one thing in the way of peace. This close to peace. We were this close. I trusted no, this is, you this guys like... for once. Ever. As Dream stood there, realization started to sink in. All of the peace that he wanted was not coming. Dream was done. He started to think. He had removed the problem. Tommy, there was one thing missing. Tubbo, listen, you still have his disc. Yeah? What about the- That means you're affiliated, no matter what. That is his most doesn't... prized possession. The discs. The one thing that held power on the server. He needed them for peace. Suddenly, Tommy emerged, hidden with Techno with invisibility potions. Tubbo felt betrayed. Why was Tommy there? He realized what Dream had been seeing. Tubbo had had enough. He handed over one of the discs that he had to Dream. The power laid in Dream's hands now. Power to make peace. And Lemanberg had to go. It was the one thing that kept stopping him from full peace. Dream, with the help of Techno, blew up Lemanberg until there was nothing left. Dream knew that peace was not coming. Something still stood in his way. Tommy. Tommy was the one who started the conflicts. Tommy was the one involved in every conflict. It was Tommy. 
Dream left a book for Tommy and Tubbo to meet him at a location. Dream had the disc, so he knew Tommy would come. As Tubbo and Tommy arrived, they began to fight Dream. Dream, being one of the best Minecraft players, clearly outmatched Tommy and Tubbo. Dream then led them to a location. As they headed down a platform, Dream had some words for Tommy. Ever since you joined happening? the server, you've been a headache, okay? You brought war, you brought terrorism, what? you brought bad everything. That's when they saw it. Dream had been collecting every item that people cared about. Ghost Spurs sheep, Sapnaf's fish, Tommy's discs. Dream realized this from the first time conflict was started on the server. If he had the things that people wanted, he could get the server back to the way it used to be. Peaceful. A peaceful place for everyone. So I can control the server if I have everything that everybody cares about, that everybody's ever cared about. I can control everything, right? I can turn the server back to what it used to be. Dream knew that Tommy's most prized possession wasn't the discs. It was Tubbo. Tubbo helped him get the disc back. Tubbo was there helping Pogtopia. Tubbo was the person Tommy wanted to see the most during exile. As long as Tubbo was on the server, Dream knew he couldn't have peace. It was a small price to pay for all the bloodshed that had happened throughout the server. Tubbo had to go. I'm sorry, Dream, but you should have paid me more. Oh, oh. you came! What? What? Wait. And just like that, everyone was there to protect Tommy and Tubbo. The day was saved. They were going to put an end to Dream. Dream didn't seem to feel emotions. Everyone was against him, yet he didn't say anything. This is what Dream wanted. The server was all together, fighting for the same common cause. It was just like the first conflict. All those months ago when Dream first stole the discs. Everyone was against him, but he didn't care. If him being looked at as the bad guy meant peace, it was worth the price for Dream. Dream complied with Tommy's orders and was locked up in prison. Dream was to spend the rest of his days in an isolated prison cell. The people seemed to think that everything was going to be okay. Dream was gone, so the SMP was going to be better than ever. Right? They couldn't have been more wrong. Just like Dream had predicted, the server was falling apart. The server was more separated than ever before. People all had their own nations or groups, and tensions seemed to rise more and more. No longer a common cause to bring the server together. People became obsessed with their own nations and greed. Las Nevadas was one of the nations that came into power. Quackity, obsessed with power in his own nation. The nation tore him apart from his best friends. I would have worked on the country with you in the calm first down. place, man. Calm you down, got man. me calm killed. Down. Quackity said something. The house always wins. And guess what? We are the house. So we will always win. Even though he had a hatred for Dream, he was just like him. To hold power, you needed something. For Quackity, that was starting a nation, a casino, so he could be the house. Dream needed to be the house for peace, and that is exactly what he tried to do. He was painted as the villain, even though no one else was. Dream had similar motives to everyone on the server, but he was the villain, and they weren't. It might have seemed like an average day to most on the server, but it'd be one that would change the server from here on out. Many of the members were hanging out. Sapnap was talking to a few of the new members. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. What, why is he even in there? <laughs> huh? Me and you, Sapnap. We've got this. I, I, no one's had I, a I chance. Bar I've barely gotten the entire- yeah, Look, Michael. Is slow. Oh, why, my horse why is, is slow. What the fuck? There? I mean, like, because I've never just gotten a straight answer. Like, I don't know what he did past trying to control people. Michael was seeing something that many others on the server failed to see. What was wrong with Dream's need for control? Everyone else wanted control. Starting whole nations for control. Killing people for control. Dream did the exact same thing. Lamanberg was founded on the idea of control and peace for the members. Dream wanted peace and control of the greater SMP. If Dream was the villain, that meant everyone was the villain. Dream had escaped. With the help of the syndicates, he managed to escape. Even though the whole server felt like it was against Dream, there were some who believed in Dream's vision of peace. There was one problem. 
Dream had been locked up for months. No light, no people, barely any food, nothing to do. He had been tortured by Quackity every single day for months. He came out to see everything he loved in the server. Gone. What do I think this means for the future of Dream? After being wronged by the friends he loved, the people he cared for, being beaten every day, Dream is the mere pawn he didn't want to be. Being thrown around for wanting the server to get along. Driven to the point of insanity by the rest of the Dream SMP.